Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is all about percent change. And in a previous video, I have problem set one. This is going to be problem set two. Some things for you to try on a piece of paper, uh, so you should have a calculator and paper ready. And I'm going to have you try a few things. But I want to show you a couple of quick examples on um, how percent change is used. A very practical example here. Let's say that you've been trying to lose some weight, and in May you measured at the beginning of the month, at the end of the month, and you had 189 pounds down to 185. Well, obviously this is going to be a percent decrease. And um, you had a pretty successful month there. You just want to know, um, how does this compare with June, when you went from 185 to 179? Okay? Now, using this formula, you have um, the difference that you are trying to um, divide by the original amount. So in this case, the difference is four, four pounds, and as we talked previously, you always divide by the first number, whether it's larger or smaller, doesn't matter. So four compared to 189. All right, in the bottom example in June, you went down six pounds, which yes, that's a lower, um, or that's a, a bigger weight loss amount, but we gotta see if that's uh, more of a percent decrease than in May. So you're going to divide 6 by 185. All right, now in your calculator, you're going to do both of these. You're going to divide top number by bottom number. So in May, the percent is 0.02116. And of course, we have to move the decimal point over. And that would be 2.1% decrease in your weight in May. And in the bottom example, it would be 3.2%. So obviously you were more successful in losing weight in June than you were in May. All right, let's try some problem examples. I want you to try from 5 to 10 these problems. They give you the starting amount, the original here, and then either a higher or a lower amount. And uh, you want to go to the nearest tenth of a percent. So click on pause in this video and give them a try. All right, that's time to check answers. Here we go. In number five, you go from 73 to 22. That's a difference of 51, and you're gonna divide it by the original number, the first one, which is 73. So when you divide that out and move your decimal point over, 69.9%, it's a decrease. Number six, it's a difference of 48, and you're gonna divide that by 76. Divide it out, move your decimal, and that's 76%, 76.3 decrease. And number seven, obviously you went up by two, and you're going to divide that by the 80. Two divided by 80. Divide it out and move your decimal, 2.5% increase. In number eight, you're going to subtract, and you're going to get five, and divide that by the original number of 83, and when you divide that out, you're going to get a 6, or 6.0% 6 decrease. Number 9, as you can see, the difference is 56.9, and divide by the 86.9, and that gives you 65.5%, and it's a decrease because you went down. And finally, in number 10, the difference here is 50, and you're going to divide that by the original amount of 89, and of course, move your decimal point, 56.2% decrease. All right, students, thanks for trying these out, and I will have a self-quiz for the next video. So look for the title, How to Find Percent Change, self-quiz, to really see if you know how to do these well. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.